Hi, I'm Dr. Nan Boss, owner of Best Friends Veterinary Center. We're going to be talking on this video about arthritis, uh, which is unfortunately about the most common disease that there is. Um, every single one of us, whether we are a dog, a cat like my skeleton here, a person, a horse, a cow, if we live long enough, we're going to get arthritis. 90% uh, of cats have arthritis on x-rays by age 12. Uh, many cats and dogs don't start to show arthritis symptoms until years after that, um, but arthritis is a progressive disease, so it starts mild and it slowly gets worse. Uh, we're going to teach you a little bit about how arthritis is diagnosed, how it's prevented, how it's treated, um, because you are going to need to deal with this sooner or later if you have a pet, and probably yourself as well. Uh, this first little picture over here shows the joint lining, which is called the synovium, getting inflamed. And that's the first really, really early stage of arthritis is you'll have these wispy little tendrils of inflamed tissue. So this is what a joint looks like. Uh, we have two bones. This is a cutaway of the bones. And then we have a joint capsule, which is in purple here. So this is a membrane that is attached to and surrounds that joint. That membrane produces the fluid that bathes and lubricates that joint so that everything moves smoothly. And when you get inflammation in that synovium, is what the lining of the joint capsule is called, um, that's depicted here as these little red, like fire-like things. So the inner lining of the synovium becomes inflamed. That inflammation produces toxins and chemicals that degrade cartilage. And so this thin layer of cartilage on the end of each bone gets worn away. This is going to be stage four when you have the cartilage all eaten away off the end of the bone. And that's when the, the pet or the human is really painful. In a person, that's often the stage that gets you a knee replacement surgery or an artificial hip. This little graphic shows the different stages of arthritis. Uh, arthritis, the common kind of arthritis that we see all the time, um, goes by several different names. You might see it as degenerative joint disease or DJD. You may see it abbreviated as OA for osteoarthritis. But what we're talking about is the common type of arthritis that we see all the time where the joints wear out with time. So you start out with no arthritis, then you get to stage one, which is where your synovium or joint lining is inflamed. At stage two, you may be starting to have some mild symptoms. You've got some inflammatory damage to the cartilage, but it's mild at this point. So when your pet comes into the veterinary hospital, we're going to flex or extend the joints and we'll sometimes find that something is sore. With dogs, that's often going to be the hip joints, which are up here on our little skeleton. Uh, knees are another common place in dogs. Cats are way more likely to have arthritis in their spine or in their elbows. So those are the first places that we often see problems in cats. And you'll see a cat that doesn't want to jump up. If its back hurts, doesn't want to jump down and land on those front legs either. And so you'll see a cat that's just not as mobile as it used to be. Uh, stage three, you usually have some limping if the arthritis involves a leg. Again, cats, it's really easy to miss arthritis with cats because if it's spinal arthritis, they're not limping. Um, and dogs or cats, if multiple joints are involved, if both hips or both knees hurt, the pet can't really limp because it's just putting weight on the other sore leg. And so what you're going to see is short stridedness. So instead of taking nice, normal, long strides that move the joints through their normal range of motion, you're going to see more baby steps uh, where the joints do not bend very much and the pet looks like it's walking on eggshells. So what we're trying to do um, with medication, with physical therapy, with all the different methods we have to treat arthritis, we're trying to slow that process down. And if we can do that, hopefully um, the dog never or cat never gets to stage four, if we can manage that arthritis, if we can be proactive and start glucosamine and fatty acids early on in the process when all we have is joint inflammation, hopefully we can protect and preserve that cartilage. More and more of our patients are living to be quite elderly. Uh, it's a rare cat who lives to be 18 or more that doesn't have arthritis. Every cat we've seen that's managed to live into its 20s has has needed arthritis medication. Dogs, it varies more depending on their weight and size, when that arthritis is going to start. Um, a lot of bigger dogs nowadays are living to 14 or 15. We see a lot of labs and golden retrievers that live that long. It's really sad when we have to put a dog to sleep for arthritis. Uh, the only thing wrong with the dog is it can't get up anymore. Um, it doesn't have cancer or heart disease or liver disease or something else shortening its life. Um, we end up putting a dog to sleep just because its joints give out. So we're trying to avoid that. We're trying to treat that arthritis enough that we keep that dog mobile and comfortable throughout its life. 
Uh, this is our therapy laser. Uh, we use laser a lot for treating arthritis. It's one of the co most common reasons to use the laser machine. Uh, our laser is, is pretty cool. It's all computerized. Um, it tells you exactly what the setting should be and how many minutes you need to be using the laser. We actually have the same machine that is used by the Milwaukee Brewers and the Milwaukee Bucks, same company. Uh, the software is a little bit different. Theirs shows a person on the screen. Ours shows a dog or a cat. Um, but this is a pretty high-tech machine um, that does a wonderful job of reducing joint inflammation and pain and swelling. And it's not a drug. It doesn't have side effects of drugs. So it's a nice way to treat arthritis without going to medications. We have lots and lots of medications uh, that we use to treat for arthritis. Uh, this top shelf here is all glucosamine supplements. Uh, glucosamine does a great job at preventing arthritis. We try to start it very early. If a dog or cat has arthritis in a couple joints, I still want them on glucosamine because it'll help prevent arthritis in other joints as they age. Adequan is kind of like an injectable version of glucosamine. Uh, it's very useful uh, after a major injury like a torn cruciate ligament because it will get the inflammation under control faster than starting them on an oral glucosamine. Uh, again, cats and dogs get glucosamine. A lot of glucosamine products um, some of the, the Dosequin and the Glycoflex also contain MSM, which is another uh, nutritional supplement that has anti-inflammatory effects, which is a nice thing to throw in there. Uh, MSM tastes a little bitter, so sometimes the dog doesn't like it very well, um, but most of the time um, that's a, a good thing to throw in there. We use some Boswellia. Uh, gabapentin um, is one of the drugs that we will use in more of the end stages of uh, arthritis. Lots and lots of NSAID drugs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and these are the mainstay for arthritis treatment because they not only help with pain, but they reduce inflammation. And that's the really key thing. You gotta get that inflammation under control so that those toxins aren't produced by those inflamed cells and the cartilage stays healthier. So medications like tramadol or gabapentin reduce pain, but they don't reduce inflammation. So your glucosamine and your NSAIDs are the key drugs for those things. Omega-3s uh, are another uh, part of our basic treatment plan. Omega-3 fatty acids are anti-inflammatory in lots of parts of the body. We use them for skin disease, we use them for heart and kidney disease, and we use them a lot for arthritis. Uh, we can do that as a fish oil supplement. We can also do that as a diet. So Hills makes a really great diet. JD is for joint diet. and it contains tons of fatty acids to reduce inflammation in the joints. And a lot of times if you're doing enough glucosamine and fatty acids, you can reduce the amount of NSAID drugs that you need, which reduces your cost. It also reduces the risk for side effects. So the more we do with these nutritional products, often the less we have to do with other methods.